Hello! Today I will be sharing with you what the history of one of my forts in Waterloo at home. This fort was made in an island which had a huge hole in the middle. So I decided to make a cult after that hole. Later on I named this island Colt Island. And after that I also named the fort Colt Island. The building of this fort was rather boring so I'll be skipping straight to the first battle we had. A ship called the Rust had sailed right next to our newly built fort and decided to shoot it up a bit. It retreated after a while, but the walls were damaged a bit and we later on had to replace some of the outer defenses. That was going to be the last combat our fort would see for quite a while. So we decided to finally start doing all the cool stuff. I made a platform to serve as an offering place. This was rather primitive since I didn't know exactly how I wanted to build it and decided that later on I'd expand upon it. One of the builders who had joined the construction decided that he would make something special. He was pretty good at making unique structures so he made a hut and this hut had a few signs on it. Now, this was rather mean. He was threatening the influence of my... Um, the only best cult in this island. So, I did the only reasonable thing and rigged his small hut with explosives. It was gonna be the only way that we would achieve safety and peace in this small island. I also made the decision to not blow the bombs up immediately, but rather just put a warning on that barrel of TNT, of the two barrels which I accidentally placed, and then just leave. Later on I decided to start doing some more stuff, some more occult stuff, and sacrifice one of the builders by tricking him. It was best offering we've done so far and probably the only one we will ever do. But anyways, ignoring that fact, I had come up with a pretty clever plan to trick him and knowing that I don't think anyone else would jump to their deaths, that will probably be the only person. But just in case I expanded the platform and actually managed to trick yet another person into jumping into the hole and this time he actually died. Well, of course, after a very long time, and he died because he wanted to, uh, he could have escaped any time. But let's just go back to our friend, the Tunnel Cult leader. This was absolutely undesired, and now he was not letting me access this small part of the island. We were infuriated. By we, I mean me and the only semi-permanent member of the cult. So we decided to start threatening each other, and this was rather effective at scaring the leader. Not effective at scaring what I assume is to his other member. He probably joined this cult because I tricked him into jumping into the hole. Anyways, after lagging out, he eventually stepped up the restrictions of it. He made a sort of a neutral area, so I fenced off part of it to make a border. This scaled up to a point that our friendly competition turned into a negotiation. A negotiation which was actually a rather mean trick. I de denied one of his propositions and he tricked me into falling into a hole. Like a good dictator, I made sure to destroy his cult. He did not leave, trust me. Anyways, later on, we started getting shelled by the now very intense situation we were put into. 
there were now multiple artillery forts that were consistently attacking us. And it'd be a while for us to be able to destroy them. So I had to focus on rebuilding any damaged structures and also hoping that I can make enough artillery so that my team can fight them off. Another thing was that a bridge was built straight to our island. It was connected to the mainland. This was quite bad for me because now the cult was exposed and we may be attacked by infantry in the near future. So let's stop right here and take a look at the current situation. As you can see here a small tea shop was left behind, Fort Defiant was built, a spawn fort uh, was a suggestive suggestive name was made. Uh, they also have an invasion goal and Cold Island was doing somewhat well. It's getting constantly shelled. Well, those shells missed obviously. But it was being damaged and that was very bad. We were also losing more artillery members so we were losing our only defense. Eventually the invasion boat arrived. Thankfully for us, it was pretty underwhelming. It had barely any fighters. The biggest threat that it managed to bring was the sheer amount of cannons that were not properly aimed. This allowed for our walls to survive. Well, not the sea walls, but the Dwayne walls of the actual fortress. I decided to try to board the ship, but we failed and then drowned. Thankfully for us, this battle was not a threat, and we managed to survive till later on. Then an invasion fleet was built, with multiple ships. This was very threatening for me. You know, at this point, Cold Island had been completely abandoned and I was the last person defending. The invasion fleet did not arrive, but a small boat with a few people did arrive. I spent the rest of my time defending Cold Island from small time invaders until I eventually left and concluded the history of Cold Island, my best fort so far. <laughs>